What up, YouTube? How you doing? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite stick. Give me a second. You'll be fine. Oh. Well. I can't do that. Right. Charging. Sorry, this is very unprofessional. What up, YouTube? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite stick. How you doing? Um. Get down on your level. Those things. Um, this will try and shop all of the week. I normally do it on a video, but um, the majority of it is clothing. Sorry, um, Andy Robinson. I feel like I'm saying sorry to Andy Robinson like every week. Yeah, I apologise. Um, yeah, it's the majority of it's clothing. It seems to be the only thing I can find or look for the last um, few weeks. Sorry, is there anything to put that light up for? Thank you. <laughs> Hi Andy. Just the guy I was talking about. I apologise. Um, hi Peter, how you doing? Yeah, um yeah, the majority of it's clothing. So Andy, I apologise. I'm hoping Andy, if you know anything about clothing. Alright, Adam, how you doing mate? Um I've got a jacket here which I don't know how much it's worth and I've been trying to research it tonight. And I'm hoping somebody will know. But yeah, um, for Andy, I'm going to get the non-clothing things out of the way. So, first, I've got this little... Now, I always thought this was an urn. Or the this kind of thing was an urn. But I don't think it's an urn. I think it's a ginger jar. When I was searching it, it said ginger jar. But it's um oh what is this Saint Michael which I know that's a certain M brand what's that M is it M and S apparently well, I'm not gonna pick that up anymore now I know it's M and S I thought it was vintage well I suppose it says 1989 on the bottom so it says January 1989 on the bottom it's got their own they've got their own certain um, code for each piece and stuff like that. So it's got its own code. Uh, I put the code into eBay. Um, none have sold, but people are listing them um, around the ten pound mark. So, hi Karen, how you doing? Stay there. <laughs> Stay there, Karen. I need your help. I need your help. I've got a jacket. I need your help. Right. So yeah, this cost me two pound fifty. I'm going to shoot for a ten on that. If you've got the time, Karen, don't. You haven't, you haven't got to stay. Um, next, I've got four of these little jugs. And this was just me getting desperate for porcelain, if I'm honest. I was just like, going, I've got to I've stop looking at clothes. Okay, not moving, but I need more crap to eat. <laughs> um, so, it's not going to be an hour. Hi Sparrows End, I, I really enjoyed your video the other day Sparrows End that I watched. Um, the one where you were looking at leathers with fetish or something. You were looking at keywords for like a leather skirt I think it was. Oh, okay. And one of the keywords that came up with was fetish. <laughs> um, but these are, sh I'm not even going to, schwold, schwold, schwold. Oh hi, is Death by Glamour? Hi Death by Glamour. Um, Schwald or whatever it's called, miniature kind of juggy kind of things. Uh, I've sold miniature stuff. I'm not staying. Just want to say hello, pack of holidays. I'll uh, have a good holiday, DBG. Oh, oh no, it's crappy. Where you going? Where are you going on holiday? Anywhere nice? Hi, flipping fantastic finds. Triple F, Kelly, Kelly. I think I've got that right. These jugs, they cost me. Two pound in total. Um, they're part of like a bigger kind of set. Yep, fetish leather skirt, the shorts. That was simply a gusset. Oh yeah, <laughs> she like these denim shorts, which yeah, there was a middle part of the shorts mm. that had obviously been places that most people hadn't been. Do you know what I mean? No. Like a Hoover. Um, so yeah. Thanks. Heading to Wales with all the in-laws. Oh. Oh. 
Well, I enjoy whales, but not the in-laws. And yeah, so, the whales. yeah, these cost me two pound each. I'm gonna aim for ten, fifteen, mate. I don't know. I think ten because they're just not going for that much. Right. Oh no, I've got another thing which is not clothing. This, but it's not worth anything. It's one of those 2012 um, Olympic things. I'm gonna switch it on if I wake up one of the kids. Yeah, I probably woke a kid up, but he's not worth anything. Not really a lot of this um, Olympic 2012 stuff. You see it everywhere in Wolverhampton, um, and a lot of it doesn't go for a lot of money. So this cost me a pound, I think. Um, this cost me a pound, so um, I'm gonna aim for about four or five pound. Oh boy. Want to punch it, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Now we get to the clothing. Right. Have I got to stand up for this? Yeah. Right, first was this denim shirt. What's the thing? It was shore leave shirt. Um, looked it up. I think it's a women's. I was going... I was going with, like... Like keywords of arty, and I was thinking of another keyword, but I don't want to say it because of the PC police might go mad. But yeah, arty, mm -hmm. decor, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, nice denim shirts. This cost me a pound. I went straight through the pound rack. Look at the buttons and length. Look at the buttons and lengths. So. We would both punch it, and it would never sing. <laughs> um, Look, what? Look at the buttons and length. I don't, I don't want to measure it right now. Have I got to measure it right now? <laughs> oh, women's woman. Ah, I get what you're saying. You know that, don't you? Oh. What? Buttons. What? What size? Buttons are certain way, aren't they? I don't. No, I don't. If I was putting it on, would I go? Does that feel weird? It doesn't feel weird, so it might be a men's. Men's buttons one way, ladies the other. Yeah, um, I think that might be a men's then. But it is... Where's the size? Am I looking in the wrong place? Whatever, I'm going for a tenner on that one. Oh, does it look? It looks smudgy there, don't it? Yeah, I'm going for a tenner on that one. Leave that to us. Um, next was this lovely emerald isle dress. Hmm. If over approximately 56 to 57 centimetres in length, it's probably men's. Oh. Hi, is Shell the reseller there? <laughs> Hi, Sean. How you doing, mate? Um, yeah, nice, nice emerald isles kind of dress. Hmm. Um, but it's I'm getting used to these names, which are obviously from like peacocks. I think I know George's as that. There was one today I saw when I went accessories. Which one's that? Accessories. Accessories or accessories. The shop called accessories. I thought it was a. I thought that was like a peacock thing or a Primark thing. Accessories, there is a shop called accessories. Oh, whatever. It's quite, quite expensive, so. Tenner. Primarne. I'm great, thanks, mate. Oh, you're all good. Yeah. I'm, I'm alright, man. I've got a list. I just don't want to. Um, oh, I've. If you watch my other clothing video, this was the reason why I raided the one. This is my back. This is the reason why I raided the one pound rack. 
you watch my other video, I found this in that job lot the other day. So that's why I raided it. It was is it Isabel, London, um, and they sell 30, 30 pound brand new. So I'm gonna shoot for 15 on me Isabel. So I'm missing names here. Hi Stu, if you're there. Yes, 50 pound on that one. Oh yeah. This was a nice um, dressing gown, Winnie the Pooh dressing gown. This was $2.99. Um, it's official, an official Disney store one. Yeah, that was $2.99. Um, just picked it up because it had Winnie the Pooh on and it had a Disney label, so I thought it was worth two more, more than $2.99. So, yeah, $2.99 for that. Look a bit like Pat Mangos. I'm missing something. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, it does have to be. Two nine nine. It's gonna go for a tenner. You going to the boot in the morning? I think I am. Um, I've just I've got to work out my money. I had what was it? I had somebody just buy five lots of Ben Ten off me. So I've got to work out my money and hopefully I've got enough for the boot fare or car boot. The, I call it. I keep I'm stealing it from other people. It's a car boot. Where will you leave any? Um. Oh, I've just got four things left. Next with these, um, the only reason why I picked them up is they're kind of dungareesy kind of shortsy things. You're too quick for my slow typing. <laughs> um, yeah, dungareesy looking things. The only thing I thought fisherman trousers or something. When I looked it up, that they're George Snow Sport or something. Um, when I looked it up, they're meant to be. Um, I think it was skiing. I well, meant to be worn in between skiing. I don't know. Work utility trousers that I look like. Um, um ga Is it called like Salapagas or Galapagas or Galapagas? Shall I don't the know. same. Like rain. The brand is George, Karen. And I looked it up. I looked. I looked on as the website. I also oh, googled just George. Oh, it says. It says George Snow Sports on the label. Winter car boot trousers. Maybe I should advertise that as that. But um, yeah, George Snow Sports. And I couldn't see anything on Google for George Snow Sports. Sound, uh, I'll be up there. If I see you, we'll say hi. It's got to go now. I'll see you later, Adam. Salapets. 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 Just put that to the screen. Nothing on that, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Salapets, apparently. Yeah, see you later, Adam. Yeah, I might see you tomorrow, mate. I don't know if it's a bogging up road now, though. Yes, but snowboard, ski, winter sports, and so on. Yeah. So, yeah, these cost me two ninety nine. 99 um, I think brand new, they were going for like any and summer stuff. Now, unfortunately. <laughs> It's funny, it's funny you bring that up. Um, if you remember a video a while back that I did where I said I was getting into sex toys. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's bogging up. It's bogging up right tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the sex toys. Well, I messaged them. When I messaged that person, they never actually got back to me when I was asking about um, how much they wanted for all of it. And they never got back to me. And they, all of a sudden the other day, it's got to be about, it was a while back when I messaged her. She all of a sudden sent me a message and I was like, no way. Maybe she's actually give up and she's like, I can't get rid of these dildos individually. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to sell them to this guy in a job lot. And I was well up for it. But she said she wasn't going to sell them as a job lot. So it's kind of good. Can't sell them on eBay, don't ask. How I know. <laughs> How do you know, Karen? Yeah, I've seen sex toys on eBay. I'm not looking. Obviously, I was researching for the, the ones you would have bought. That I would have bought. I went into Newcastle and Summers once. They sold split crotch shell seeds. <laughs> I hope that's real. <laughs> Two ninety nine. I think I think I think I was thinking fifteen. Um, next, this cost me seventy five p. 
I don't normally do toys, I've bought a job lot of toys, but as I was waiting on as I was waiting at the counter, I have to have a licence, I think. Oh. oh okay. Um as I was waiting at the counter there was a queue and I walked past the toys and I saw this. Respect my avatar. Um toy. Um it's an official serve part one from nineteen ninety nine. It's in pretty good condition, saying it's from nine ninety nine. 75p should get about a tenner for that. Just for an individual toy. And that's that. Right, now these two are the big ones. The ones you've all been waiting for. On the edge of your seat. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting over the top. So this one I know what I'm going to shoot for on this. Sell them on eBay as gardening dip dibbers. Gardening what? Dibbers. Dibbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice little blazer. Now, you know I've got blazers before. Only reason why, the only reason why I picked this one up. Oh, imagine enforcing that license. <laughs> um, it's Aqua Scutum. And it's got all, if you can see, it's got Aqua Scutum all on the lining. Now, back in my day, when I was a gangster and I was living on the main streets of Wolverhampton. <laughs> Respect. Mm. <laughs> um, you know, well, I wasn't really a gangster. I just spoke like this, innit? And, and like. No, you really didn't. I did it, yeah. No. I did a bit. You weren't too bad. I did a bit. <laughs> what to be proud of? No, not really. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I know, I remember one time. There was um, a bloke who said to me, why is it when you have six beers you turn into a 16 year old um, like urban lad, gangster lad? <laughs> but yeah, this cost me £6.75, research is about 50 quid. Well, they've gone for less. Back when Steve was a peaky blinder. <laughs> Edit that bit out Steve, you're a gangster. Thanks Sean. <coughs> Can't imagine you being a bad boy Steve. You'd be surprised. Actually, I'm going to show you my bullet wound. Oh, for God's sake. Sure enough. It's really not a bullet wound. There is a bullet wound. See that? Oh, there. Oh, Jesus. Bullet wound. It was a gangster fight and you should have seen the other block. Such a fever. That's a bullet wound. <laughs> I, no, I wasn't really... Oh, no, no, I wasn't really. I was not a bad boy. I wasn't. No. Um, I just, I don't know. Probably say I hung around with the wrong people. But I never got in any trouble. <laughs> I was always, oh no, it's not me. Yeah, I have a catapult too when I was a kid. <laughs> now, actually, I fell over a wall drunk. That's what that scar is. And but... what did you do? <laughs> I fell. I think I've probably told this story before. I always tell people it's a gun wound, and then I tell them five minutes like this. I tell them like after I go, of course it's not a gun wound, but I always tell them yeah I got shot. The amount of people that go, no way really. But um, yeah, what happened was, I, I was really really drunk at about the age of eighteen, and I misjudged the size of a wall, and I went to jump over it, and as I jumped over it. <laughs> I didn't even jump, I just cracked my shin log like, full force right into the corner of the wall. Blood everywhere. And um, I didn't want to go to the hospital, which I really needed to go to the hospital. So what I did was I just got a load of tissue, because I had work the next morning. I got a load of tissue, cling film, wrapped my leg up. <laughs> and um, that's why I've got that scar. Aqua scooter and jacket cost me six pounds seventy five. I'm gonna aim for fifty. <coughs> so this is the one I need people's help with. It might not be worth anything, but I think it is. But I can't find it anywhere. This nice ladies jacket. No, ah, my knees getting old. It says Sava Paris. Yeah. Savar Paris, um, and it's also. It's what did you say? It's like suede. You said it's like a suede leather. It's 
it says 100% real leather. And it's like, but it's like a suede. It's like a suede texture. Surely it was for you. I'm missing the chat here. <laughs> Oh, I, if social media was around when I was a kid, I'd be, I'd be done. What? If, I, if social media was around when I was a kid, mm. I'd be done. Why? I just would. I was a, nah, I, it just wouldn't work out. But yeah, Paris, Sava Paris. Now, I've never heard of the brand. When I've searched the brand, even searching the French sea, can't find it anywhere. Cannot find it anyway. I'm obviously going to do a little bit more research on it, but this cost me 99p. And the only reason why I've got it because it's got a bit of weight behind it, and it does say on the label 100% real leather, so I don't know what to go for on this. Um, it smells like a charity shop, though, but yeah, I don't know what to go for. Um, it's a solid 16. So yeah, I'm going to do more research on that, but I think when I did do that kind of, I did a little bit of research and he said Sava, I was a normal teenager, teenager from my, my neck of the woods, except never got pregnant before leaving school, but who got me? <laughs> Not in the 90s came. What style is it, Steve? I don't know. It's kind of, it reminds me a bit of a denim jacket, kind of. Yeah, it's... Well, it's yeah. I don't know, I'm not good with styles. It looks like a denim jacket. It's not leather, it's suede. Wear it. Okay, I'll try it on. If I break this now, you owe me a jacket. Do you want me to try it? God. You're going to break it. Is it fitted? Well, I'd say it's fitted on me, Karen. Come and try my belly. Shell ain't got a bra on. Andy, stop. How's the running state? It's alright actually. Um, Google CarverLondon.com. It's a bit. It's a bit. Um, like a. Oh, might look like. Finger, yeah, isn't it? Oh. Quite nice. You're not having it? It's quite you know, like a city. I don't like it for me. Kind of like don't a biker style. Don't you no. have a cam? Oh, the boobs. Yeah. Kind of like a biker style. Yeah. Jacket. Biker style. That's what I thought. Like, what's that? I did that the other day with a dress and couldn't get it off. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've, I've cut shell out of a couple of dresses. Oops. Not even too far. Then. My, my. <laughs> yeah, I've cut shell out of a few dresses. Oh, you had to cut me out that one in Cyprus because I got really pissed off. <laughs> and I just told him to take a pair of scissors to it. Yeah, I had to take a pair of scissors to it. Cropped, boxy biker jacket. Yeah. Good call. Mm. Not fetish. <laughs> I just want to put fetish in one of my titles. <laughs> I just, I'd like to put fetish in all my titles and see how many views I get. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. Oh, I had this theory. No, I had a I was thinking, what about if you listed? If you had, say you had. Thousands of listings, like you're knocking on 30,000 listings, and you all listed them, but fetish in whatever you like. Yeah, <laughs> should be. Somebody's got everyone's got a fetish for something, even Ben 10 figures. I'm going for the festival in each, I'm going for the festival in each one. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's a good yeah. it should be actually maybe in the summer months, it should be festival. 
winter months, Christmas. Mm. The way to do it. Seasonal. Seasonal, yeah. Mm. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. I lost track of. Can't remember. Anyway, I'm fetish all year round. <coughs> Maybe. Fetish Christmas fetish. I'm debating for each message I get replying with an offer to them. <laughs> ah, that was it, that was it. Right, I'm thinking. You get thousands of listings and you list them all for a grand. One of them's got to sell. That's my theory. If you have 30,000, no, you have 100,000 listings and you list them all for a grand, <coughs> Summit's got to sell out. Not necessarily. That's my theory. Something's got to sell. <laughs> list everything for a grand. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going to try it. No, I'm not going to try it. I, it was one of the, that was, it saved me walking from work going, Jumping. So I just thought stuff like that. Just need and it's yeah. So all you need. It's gotta be a few out there on eBay out there. Like the, it, I always I always get this thing like when I certain things that I sell where I go, this is going to a hoarder here. I always do. I just go this is going to a hoarder. <laughs> Why would anybody else buy this? This is this person probably isn't giving it even up in this box. Bless them. Why stop? Why stop at a grand? Hundred thousand listings at a million. One sale in a month for a million. You're done. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'm really tired. We've kind of camped out down here. There is an app for a million. Nothing on it, just props. It's allowed as far as I'm aware. Lex uses it and I have a pair of leather look diesel jeans with fetish title. Oh. With fetish title and a few watches and the price of night pen. I remember Shell, we, we did like this test. Oh, I can't no, remember no, where we... No. I, I do so many vlogs. That it's definitely on it. It's, it's on a vlog somewhere. Yeah. Where we um, Shell listed some old shoes put and, and you know the word the words well worn and she put it on there and like they weren't worn enough obviously and the person, <laughs> and the person message saying if you got look like, I'm gonna do the voice just if you got any for the skip I'm like, really, <laughs> trust. Yeah. really trust you got any for the skip <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we, we didn't reply and we made the <laughs> shoes <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching. That was my charity shop all the week. I should hopefully be going to the car boot tomorrow. And I am going to try my hardest to not look at clothing. Or biker jacket. <coughs> <coughs> if I see some biker leather pants, I'm going to go. I'm going to try my hardest now. So, peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye everyone.